to achieve set target of 100% national access to water supply in 2023, the Minister of Water Resources, Suleiman Adamu, has called for effective collaboration among stakeholders in the water sector, particularly between the three chairs of government, to enhance the rich potential and capital investment in the nation's dams, water supply and irrigation infrastructure across the country. The Minister made a call yesterday in Abuja at the 33rd Annual Conference, an exhibition of the Nigeria Association of Hydrogeologists, which focuses on the sustainable management of water sanitation and hygiene in Nigeria. Benedict Uku has more. The prevailing climate events such as flooding and drought are already having serious negative impacts on the Nigerian populace. The abundant surface and groundwater resources can be harnessed to adequately meet the country's current water demands. While declaring the conference open, the Minister of Water Resources, Suleiman Adamu, who noted that passage of the National Water Resources Bill into law will facilitate better management of water resources and the actualization of proper harnessing of both surface and groundwater, called for more investment and collaboration to achieve watch target and SDG goals by 2030. To adequately meet the country's current water demands for domestic consumption and other developmental activities. The Federal Ministry of Water Resources is therefore promoting integrated water resources management principles for sustainable management of available water resources for the present and future needs of our people. There is no gain saying that the passage of the National Water Resources Bill into law will facilitate better management of our water resources and the actualization of our desire for proper harnessing of both surface and groundwater to support the nation's socio-economic growth. In order to sustain these gains, there is need for more effective collaboration among stakeholders in the water sector, particularly between the three tiers of government, so as to harness the rich potentials and maximize the, and realize the maximum benefits of the huge capital investments in our dams, water supply, irrigation infrastructure across the country. In addition, we have demonstrated the need for collaboration amongst departments and agencies of the Federal Ministry of Water Resources towards a coordinated effort in the implementation of the Ministry's Roadmap 2016-2030. The minister also dismissed insinuations that the water released from the Lagdo Dam in Cameroon was responsible for the year's devastating flood in many parts of the country. It is imperative to debunk some of the stories pervading the social media to the effect that releases from the Lagdo Dam are solely responsible for the floods within the Niger Bay basins, along with failure of government to construct the Dazi Hausa Dam. In any case, in my own sense, Lagbo Dam releases have effect on flooding or river Bini, but the impact is minimal and hardly extends beyond Adama and Taraba states. Clearly, much of the flood devastation was downstream of Lokoja, I mean downstream of Lokoja can be attributed to increased flows from River Niger, arising from the unprecedented rains experienced in most of the watershed feeding into that river. The national president of the association, Martins Eduvier, and the director general, Nigeria Hydrological Services Agency, Clement Nze, spoke about the theme of the conference as an avenue to deliberate on the nation's groundwater management. The annual conference and exhibition is intended to provide the necessary platform for constant engagement of hydrogeologists to interact and exchange ideas on ways and means of managing our groundwater resources in line with international best practices. Accordingly, the theme of this year's conference, Prospects and Challenges of Sustainable Management of Water, Sanitation and Hygiene Wash in Nigeria, was aptly selected to elicit robust deliberations on the various aspects of management of the nation's water resources to guarantee sustainable socioeconomic benefits. The lack of access to clean drinking water and public sanitation is an ever-present threat to our development as a country. NISA, in collaboration with Nigeria Social Hydrogeologists, has been working and will continue to work together in the interest of the country to build 
a robust and sustainable water and resources management system for the nation. In a communique issued at the end of his technical session, the association also called for more focus on the ground and surface water management, funding of WASH, and to adopt WASH initiative by state governments. Stakeholders should be encouraged to advocate to state governments to prioritize funding of WASH, create an enabling environment for operation and maintenance for effective sustainability and management. There is the need for government at subnational levels to adopt WASH initiatives of the federal government, supported by UNICEF and all donor agencies, to, ab to be able to achieve the open defecation status. President Buhari has directed the Minister of Water Resources to lead other MDAs to develop a comprehensive plan of action for preventing flood disaster in Nigeria and report back in 90 days. The ministry has assured to deliver on this mandate.